Hello, everybody. This is Hi. Rick from Rick Enterprise. Doing? Look at his number, 510-712-7242. This is my friend, my brother in Christ. He's been doing some amazing work. He does home improvement oh, and repair. Awesome. What you got to say, Rick? Call me. That's right. Let me show you what Rick's doing right here. He has changed our fan out for us. It's gorgeous. It's a chrome, silver. We have a light. We went from not having a light to having a light. That's like darkness, righteousness. Right. And then, Rick, look at this, Mommy. Rick, is, Rick just installed this beautiful speaker for us. This is a fan slash speaker. It has a Bluetooth with a, it works with your phone. I'll show you a video on that later. Wow. It has a cool light effect. It can turn cool blue or amber cool. color or just regular light. But now you can listen to your jams while you're soaking your cares away. This is what the fan looks like. It's made out by Homeworks Bluetooth fan with a LED light and night light. But now it's messy around here because we we was been working. We've been working. And Rick has been up in the attic. Let me show you what else we're doing around here. Hello, Sweet Life family. How are you doing this evening? Uh, we just finished having a beautiful Bible study here. My daddy came and taught Bible study. And we had a couple of uh, friends over and they blessed the house. And it was just beautiful. And so we felt like, you know how you have your house together when you have guests and it's looking all gorgeous. So we decided that we were getting ready to do the reveal. Okay. We just want to say hello. Welcome. We are Barika and Elise. Yeah. Two of the three Coast of Tears. We want to say welcome. You may have come as a guest, but you will certainly leave as a friend. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the little bell notification and set it to all. So you're always notified every time we come out with a new vlog. And at the end of this, if you like this vlog, please let us know by leaving us a comment and leaving us a thumbs up. So we're about to give you the tour. Grab your favorite snack, get comfy, and let's have a house tour. <laughs> All right. <laughs> door so here is our door okay right there and I added this to make sure that we had a place for our keys I love it um this is our guest bedroom it still has some boxes and stuff because you know we're putting things together that room is not ready so we went ahead and closed the door but this is the entrance the foyer and so here is some subtle Disney touches I saw this on a Facebook um post in a disney group and this lady had got these mirrors from kohl's and i ran out that same day and got them now you could have they had them stacked like three in a row going straight up and down but she turned it into a hidden mickey and i thought it was so perfect so i copied that okay this is a beautiful gift from our realtor um and they just blessed us with this and it was very gorgeous and beautiful so we have that in there. It says Culberson Home established 2021 to commemorate us purchasing our first home. And then I have a little door hanger here where we hang up things. Now we're going into the homeschool room. Here is Elise and my piano where we practice our piano above it. I thought it was very nice and inspiring to have these photos of Walt Disney sketches for some concept art for Disneyland. So we got the Cinderella Castle, and then we have the amusement ride system, which I know they use for like the Haunted Mansion and different rides. Um, then there's the teacups, and he hadn't yet named these items yet. So this is a passenger carrying amusement device. So before it was in, you know, the castle was named and the monorail was named, but some of the ride systems were just the basic um, names okay I like that alrighty then over here in this corner 
We have some of our supplies. These are my teaching supplies and this is where we keep Elisa's agenda. Um, here is her reading nook and teepee. Over there is where her costumes are. She's over here chilling. We have some manipula bowls and then the bookshelf. And this is where I house all her uh, academic curriculum and textbooks in this area. Have a nice little plan here. I just added the world map, which I love that world map. We <laughs> you stop? Here's the desk. We just have a table that I put a tablecloth on. I like it. Um, eventually, I will replace these two chairs, but for now, they work. Um, yeah, so that's the homeschool room. No way. Help me. <laughs> Let's go. No. I put some signage around. I love um, signage for houses. So this is the one outside of Elisa's bathroom and let's go into her bathroom. Welcome to Disneyland. So this is her Disneyland bathroom. I love these towels. Well, I didn't want to make it too Disney Disney. So when I saw these color combos at Target, wash your hands, dry. Put it on. Let's see, I didn't fold that right, but whatever, I'll fix it. Wash your hands, dry, dry, dry. I love this picture, Splash Mountain, just because this is a Disneyland theme bathroom. And Elise hates Splash Mountain, so it's just perfect for her bathroom. <laughs> um, I had to talk her into putting in there. She does not like Splash Mountain. Here is a wax warmer. We have some Disney scents in here from oh, Wishes Candle Company. Look Can you wait? Mirror. Can you wait? Thank you. Here is where she has her toothpaste and toothbrush and this is a little bitty boomer this actually plays music so we got Olaf right there and then we have all of our beautiful H2O products that we get from shopping with Ray my Orlando BFF she sends us these and then she purchased this for us as a gift and I thought it was fitting to go into Elisa's bathroom so wonderful I'm trying to get uh, the 50th anniversary one and then here goes Elisa's little makeup brushes for the bathroom. I will put some face towels in here just so she'll have extra face towels, but I haven't done that yet. And then here is her gorgeous shower curtain. So she's always at the parks when she comes into the restroom. And I just love this um, bathroom. And look at the fireworks. And then here goes her robe, her sheriff Woody robe. And then I have this here where I'll put extra um, tissue and toiletries and things like that. So this is Elisa's bathroom. Oh, and then the rug. I love the little rug because it just adds that splash of color that goes along. I love decorating, okay? So this is just like my forte. I love it. So I just love the way this bathroom came together. So that's her bathroom. And then... Here, this is the garage, which also has our laundry area. That's a, a mess, so we're still getting that together. There's also the Sweet Life Factory, but that, I will show you that later, not today. And this is a, lo I love this picture. I got this from a friend, um, and it's a little girl eating the Word of God. And we know we are supposed to make sure that we partake of God's Word daily. And, you know, this is this girl is taking it literal, but we need to be eating the word of God because it is food for our souls. So I just love this picture outside of her room. And this is her room. And she has a perfect um, art on her door that says stay weird and it has stitch on it. We love it. Elise loves to be unique and different. And this is something that she made herself. So let's go into her room. Hey. So here's her dresser. She has that glamorous dresser and her TV. And then we have our Scentsy that we got from the Traveling Texans. Thank you, Jess. Um, and then this is cute. My mother-in-law got that for Elise and I love it because it just says, God says you are unique and has a scripture reference for each one of those um, characteristics. Special, lovely, precious, strong, chosen, forgiven. Here is her toy box. We still are putting away toys in Elisa's room, but we got Rapunzel down here. Here goes her little donut slippers and shoes on the back of her door. She got this from my um, church mom, First Lady Rachel Hawkins, um, her grandma. 
So this, she had this a long time ago. We put it back on the door. Little sign is just to let her know, be brave. Here goes her, at least when she was in my belly. And then she has her LOL dolls. That's her actual clothes. She has toys in there. This is a pillow I made. I love this pillow of a mother and daughter hugging and embracing each other. And so she likes makeup. Her and Brooke are always doing makeup. Um, hello, Brookie. So I put that in her room. And then this is the sign that I made her for her sixth birthday, I want to say. She has a chandelier because it's all things girly in here. This is her um, bedroom spread that we were going to make her room Animal Crossing theme. But I just ordered her a, um, a bed spread that really fit her personality. So we'll alternate between this one and the one that I'm ordering. Wait till you see the one that I'm ordering. But I have this is really just a um, a sign that I had a lady make Elise. So if you remember for her birthday, um, not this past year, but the year before that, she had a Animal Crossing theme birthday and they had Elise's, that was when she was um, seventh birthday. No, eighth, eighth birthday. It's at least eighth birthday, but I had her do another one of this because I know Elise wanted an Animal Crossing theme room. So we will be using this. She has her little, but but the one that I ordered is fire for her. It's just exudes Elise. She has her little fufu rug. Um, I'm gonna pull it over a little bit because it's a little off centered. And then she has her beautiful. Um, oh, let me show you the feature of her her bed. Super cool. Look at this. Boop. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. So it lights up. We try to make sure we do not waste the battery. She has her lava lamp. This is her diffuser. I got this from Kohl's. It's really nice diffuser. CD, uh, cell phone holder. And then this is the vanity that we got on sale this weekend. A lady was selling it off of um, Facebook. Um, and so we decorated with gems down here is a little too short i'm gonna have to find another gem that i could put right there but it was too big we didn't want to make it look crazy but we did this it had no gems and we glammed it up here's her little chair little velvet i mean elise just has a room that is amazing we painted this vanity and got it all dolled up and then we have these type of little embellishments in here and little lanterns and things hanging from the ceiling. So it's just, oh, and then check out her little jewels for her fan. It's diamonds, okay? And my daddy put up this fan for her. Thank you. And then um, our friend Rick put electricity in it. And it's amazing they did it together. Not together, but they worked both on this fan. Thank you, daddy, and thank you, Rick. So yes, this is Elisa's um bedroom so i'm excited about her bedroom it's very nice so let's go out turn off the light okay and then out here i made sure to put this sign outside of my husband and i and my and my door just so that we can always remember what love is love is patient is kind it does not envy it does not boast it is not proud it is not rude it is not self-seeking it keeps no record of wrongs Love protects, trusts, hopes, and persevere. Just so that we can be grounded and know what love is. This is foundational for a marriage. You know, you have to remember that this is what love is. That you're not looking out for self, but you're looking out for your um, spouse. So I love that. Here goes our room. We do have the glass. This is our closet. Have the glass doors. I'll show you on the inside there, maybe. Um, you see it kind of, it didn't have racks over here. So I end up purchasing some of those wardrobes in here. So it's all together. Okay. That's all I'm going to show you in there. Okay. I love this picture. It just reminds me of my husband and I. So I, I got this picture from like Mickey's. Instagram page and he always has little scenes of him and Minnie and I think I have another one but I'm not sure but for sure um, this is one of my favorites look at them going on a coffee date and this is our fan 
we purchased this fan and Rick put it up for us. So I just love it. It's really, really nice fan. And then here is our bedroom set. It's so gorgeous. Um, our furniture was a gift from my mommy. I love it. My mommy blessed us with our furniture. My pastor and first lady blessed us with the, um, that's my church parents with the paint job um, and plumbing. Just so many people came together. Rick came and blessed us with electricity and a fan in the guest room and, and this beautiful fan. It doubles as a fan. It has a really nice um, light. Let me show you. It changed that light that changes mood. Look at it. It goes to a night light. Look at that. It's beautiful. And it also has a Bluetooth speaker. So it's just gorgeous. I mean, just so many people, people came together. People who love us. Okay. And then here, this is the statue that my mommy gave us when we got married. Um, 17 years ago and I love this this was sitting on our head table inside of a heart of flowers it was really gorgeous and I just love this is the unity it's um I think this piece is called unity but you see they have wrapped the husband and wife in this gold ribbon and I just love how they're looking into each other's eyes look at her hair she just has all the flowers in her hair it's really gorgeous piece and look at how he's looking so beautiful and then I love this. This says, fill your space with happy. I got this at the Hallmark store and I just thought it was so perfect for me. So here, the end tables, I selected glass end tables just to break up the wood look um, because they were, they had the end tables that went with the set, but I just wanted a different look for that. And then my aunt Merlin blessed us with these lamps. They're gorgeous. So we each have an end table and a matching lamp. And then this is a light up piece that my husband gave us for gave me for um, our anniversary. We have these bears. My mom also gave us these bears when we got married. They used to kiss. These were the Hallmark wedding bears, but I keep them on every bed <laughs> that we have. And then I found this pillow somewhere. I can't remember. It might have been Hobby Lobby, something like that. Every love story is beautiful, but ours is my favorite. So I adorn the um bed with that also so this was that tv stand and i love that it's right across from our closet because it gives us space to sit down i was going to put a cushion on there but i'm not even going to do it it just it doesn't even bother me i just need to clean the drawers out i haven't done that here is a mirror and it's also my jewelry box on the inside of there so i like that it lights up and everything then I put a step stool here because the bed is kind of high. So, but these drawers really do work and they give us extra, um, you know, space to put our clothing. This was in the living room, in the family room, but I brought it in here because we got a chair that I'll show you, but I love this piece. And so this just get, my husband wants something sitting here so that he can sit down. It goes with the decor. It's nice. So I like it. And there goes his end table. I use that little thing to put our remote controls in. It's just nice. I love it. And then our TV and an extra dresser. So that's our room. This piece is what I use in my bathroom when I'm taking a bath and I set my computer on there and just watch TV when I'm soaking and relaxing. But my husband asked me to put it over here when I'm not using it. This project, we have to get this carpet up. This previous owner had carpet. This is the next project. We had so many different projects when we came into this house. So this is on the high list next, <laughs> but we had to get to it. And here's our bathroom. I don't know why I was carpeting in here. I would have never had that, but okay. Um, I love this picture. I had got this picture from my husband <laughs> in our other bathroom, just because look how Mickey has all his stuff everywhere. That's how such like a man. He got his gloves. Hopefully he'll get it when he gets out the bathtub, but I doubt it. And then this is our bathroom. We just kept it really simple in here. My husband's side, my side. Normally I have H2O products, but I'm <laughs> waiting for some more. <laughs> and then this same thing, I'll put the face towels in here so we can just grab a face towel, but I just haven't done that yet. Here goes our shower. We do have some Disney H2O products there. Here is our water closet. I love my robe. 
I, it just needs to be fixed on the side. Somehow it unraveled, but I love it nevertheless. And here, this is the water closet. We have some Disney files because we're D Disney Vacation Club owners, so they sent us the magazines. Um, and then I saw this at Walmart, and I just loved it in here. There's always something to be thankful for, and that will stay up year-round. It was a uh, Thanksgiving piece, but I'm going to keep it up. And then a diffuser reed. I love this smell. I can't remember what scent it was, but if I saw it at Target, I would know. But they their diffuser reed smell really good. And then back here, <laughs> not that you guys want to know, I have a little basket with some women items in here just for me and i like how it's housed in there so that is the room turn off this light now let me take you into the family room because like i said the guest room is not when i get the guest room together i will show you and when the garage is together i will show you okay coming in along around so here's our kitchen. We just had the Bible study and this was amazing. My daddy typed these up and these are some amazing scriptures. Are you in a position for God to use you? Does worry hold you back? And this is seven reasons not to worry. Um, always remember that worry looks around, sorry looks down and faith looks up. And then he had this quote that I really liked. It says, worry does not take away tomorrow's sorrows, but takes away the strength of today your strength for today but then i saw another version that says worry does not take away um tomorrow's sor troubles but takes away your peace for today so there's different versions but i love it then we have our disney east book at least make the sign for bible study tonight it was bible taco bar it was really nice because we had a taco bar and this is so uh, this is our portal we keep it in the kitchen. Here is the kitchen that I just finished. My mama started the dishes and then I finished them. Our dishwasher is going. I can flip this because I like to flip it while it's going so I know it's clean. I love that. Don't you love this? Baby Yoda clean, Baby Yoda dirty. <laughs> so we'll put that on clean. And it says this house runs on coffee and Jesus, which is not really true for me. My husband does drink um, coffee and <laughs> I don't drink coffee. Here goes our poo honey pot is a wax um, burner that I got from the traveling Texans. Thank you, Jess. And lights up. It's very pretty. Let me show you. And then I like the sign, the farmer's market. I like how I still had touches of things from my old house. And these were some canisters, canisters that I had got my godmother when she was alive. And so I love them in our house. Oh, and I got this from Disney. This is so cute. I told my husband, you better not take one of these towels out. This just for decoration. He doesn't understand that. He's like, what is a decoration for? Me and Elise got this at um, TJ Maxx. This is our hand soap. I love that. This is dumpling. Remember the dumpling my husband got from me? I don't know where Elise's is. Let me see. Oh no, I gotta replace the battery. Okay, he doesn't light up right now. I gotta replace, somebody left them on. I don't know, I'll replace his battery though. Okay, we'll replace them. But that's dumpling. And then we have the measuring equivalents conversion, okay? So that's that. Here goes my table and I love it. This is a navy blue. You can't see it right now because the lighting is kind of mooded down. But it's not black, it's navy blue. And I love it. And then Lord told me to put the clear cover over it so that there i won't be fussing at elise and eco of all spills and this was a wedding gift from um one of our deacons at our church deacon pullen he gave these to us and i just love these these like set the table off and sometimes i'll put plates in the center of them when i'm trying to be fancy but i love it and this is my rack where i hold all my appliances and i keep it really neat on here um and eventually we got to start growing our stuff again so we will keep the ends pots up here. And then I gotta use these on the table. I have to interchange these because my best friend, Jenya, she gave me these and they're beautiful. So I gotta use those. And then my husband gave me these from the Walt Disney Museum. Um, so I have to interchange them. Okay. And then over here we have 
gather here with grateful hearts and this is jakey's little section look at him chilling in his bed do you have to use a bathroom he been outside all day i doubt it you okay jakey okay and then we have this there so we can just wipe our feet um, when we come in from outside because it's very country out there so dirt comes in all right you still up Elise, you sleep? Okay, she's asleep. <laughs> she ain't asleep. Oh, she is asleep. This is a chair that my mom blessed my husband with. He has not yet to use it. Elise thinks it's hers. Okay. Anyway, here goes our big shelf. I love this. J Jakey's fancy little bed here when he's not in this crate. Oh, look at this diffuser. I got this from Walmart. I love it and I always do my sense from Wishes candle company this is down the boardwalk and i love this new one called room service so nice these are disney scents and this i got from walmart and i love it because i get to set the moods in there i did this floor arrangement these are hearts that we have it started off my husband gave me this one best mom ever then i gave elise this daughter one and my husband that one I don't know where he got that from, but I found them too because I wanted them to have it. Up here, I will put a, a sign to Alani when it comes. I got it from Etsy and it shows the mouse from here to our home in Alani. And then I have some pictures that I'll put up there. And then this is family. I got this when we went to Animal Kingdom Lodge. I love this. I'm going to put our DVC picture in there. One of the pictures from our trips. And then we got Calypso Mickey. This is a Jim Shore. I love it. So this is my husband's bookshelf and this is mine. I had got rid of a lot of my books because I didn't know how I was going to put them in here. Um, oh, and here's another beautiful piece. This is one that I got my godmother when she was alive because she used to watch us children. She had a babysitting business and we all just really loved her and looked up to her. So I had got her that. Let's see. Okay. And I had, the, I thought this was so cute. When people come over, they can know your password to your Wi-Fi. But my husband was like, you didn't give it by our password. <laughs> so Lisa's watching Slice and Rice. We love Slice and Rice. We watch her. everyone, but she was just watching this. Okay. And then this is my uh, rack. We've had this for a long time and it was black. But my husband painted it silver for me. And I love this. Look at this. So he gave me this for Christmas when he gave me my new ring. This is one that I got Elise. These are Jim Shores. And this is only going to house Jim Shores. But this was cute. This came with snacks in it from my loan officer when we purchased our house. It was a thank you gift. And I put a plant in it. And I love it. Oh, sheesh. Please. Sheesh. Sheesh, girl. Okay. Look at our painting. Disneyland California. I love this. It's so pretty and it's really prettier in the daytime. It's kind of hard to see it because it's dim in here, but it is gorgeous. This is our, I like this picture of Elise and Coberson. And this is our couch. It's like a, you can't see it. It's a bluish gray. So we got the Disney blue going up in here. And then this is above the couch. Uh, Ray was helping me put this together on the phone. I was like, is it straight? Is it straight now? But this slogan says better together and has all of our special moments as a family. I love it. So we got us at my birthday when we had dressed up like Cinderella, Prince Charming, and Tiana. Then that's our family portraits from last year. Us at Easter. Us for Coberson's birthday. Us for Elisa's birthday. This is for my mom and daddy's anniversary at the church. New Year's Eve. Our first Disney cruise. <laughs> and then... Um, these are the pictures that will go with the Alani sign when it arrives. And then that one, and then our Disney cruise. So those will go um, with the Disney sign, the Alani sign. So yeah, we don't have any outdoor patio furniture yet, but that's our home. Oh, let me tell you this too. This flash, um, vacuum cleaner, Eureka flash, oh my goodness, it's everything. I have to do a review on that. And this infused, I already did a review on it. I love it. I just love my home. I'm so grateful to God that he has blessed us with a home. 
and it's gorgeous and it's ours and oh, oh i brought this with me so i love that and then i still have my other mickey rug all right you know what we always say the sweet life is the right life and we'll see you real soon Bye bye <laughs>